Guys welcome to my channel. How are you? I hope you are fine. Let's come on the topic at the start of the story we can see that there is a zoo and a girl that was cleaning the zoo. She was thinking that, lucky today I am really lucky. Since Sunbei is on a break, I am in charge of the predators. Even though I normally dislike taking on other people jobs, this time it is a little different. Because I really really like the predators. All predators and distant and have an unpolished beauty. On top of that, they are so sexy. I think they are the ideal animals in this world. I naturally begin to sing because we are able to clean up after these predators. As accepted, it was good choice to become a zookeeper. I am happy just being able to see these predators up close, even though it is dangerous. Then suddenly, there was a dark thing that was a black fox appeared there. She said what happened. Then suddenly, that black fox disappeared. She said where is this? A forest. I am sure I was inside a zoo. Enclosure. But, did someone move me to the safari zone? No, these trees are different to the ones that are in our zoo. Safari zone. I really do not know what is going on. Where is my phone? Then she suddenly changed into a crow. She said what is this? How can this be? I am not sure if it is reincarnation or possession but did I really become a crow? How could this happen? No everyone else possesses or reincarnates in a fantasy romance novel, but why am I an animal? This is unfair. Black Fox also thinking that, since I am already an animal, why could not I be a cool predatory animal? While on other hand the crow was also saying that, why am I the number one most unlucky crow? That crow was admitted in the hospital. Doctor said to crow, yes you have possessed a very bad place. Crow said to doctor, what? I am a bird. She began weeping and said, to think that I am a bird, you old male doctor how am I supposed to live now? Then, Crow again flew to the forest and she was saying that, do I really need to continue living in this body? I, am not sure about other things, but the biggest problem is food. Bugs, insects, corpse and a half rotting. Animal corpse, if there really is a good that helped me possess this, please appear before me, just whose, eyeballs do I need to peck? Am I crazy to eat these things but it is a relief that I can eat dry nuts or fruits? I do not see any of those things in this area, though shall I try flying and searching for them? Then she, made her first fight and she began flying. She became very surprised that now I can fly. She said, now I, can really fly, it feels like I have become free do all birds live with this feeling? It might be as bad to live, as a bird. Then Crow heard the conservation of some orcs but she was thinking that the people were, talking to each other that they were saying that, hurry we need to find them, how dare they take our friend crow listened the conservation of them and said, is that a conservation? Are there humans here? Hold on people. Then crow began thinking that, instead of struggling to find food, would not it be better to convince someone to make me their pet? Although I would be chased away, since crows are unlucky. Birds if I do my best to charm them, it might just work. This is better than starving to death, right? Let's face them right away and charm. Then Crow came in the front of the orcs. Crow said, fuck, there are no hopes and dreams in this world. Crow asked to them, hey you, why did a fantasy type orc appear? Orcs, were talking to each other about the man that was being searched by his friends. A orc asked to other, did you find that bastard? Then other orc replied that he is not over here. I did not find him either. Crow, listened the conservation of the orcs and began thinking that, they are orcs who cannot read the room is not a handsome guy supposed to come out instead, but thanks to this, I am certain of one thing, Crow at that time was present in the fantasy world, she was thinking that, this thing is that this world is, not like Korea nor the earth that I used to live in, but rather the problem is, there are many fantasy, works that have orcs in them, so I am not sure this world is from a manhwa novel or a game, but one, thing I relieved about is that I can understand this world language, Damned god bastard, at least you, had the bare minimum of a conscience but the problem is that it was a bare minimum. While on other hand a orcs was saying that, that human bastard, if I catch him I am going to rip him apart and eat him. Then other orcs said, revenge for friend. Crow listened the conservation of them and said, anyway, based on the orc conservation, I am sure that there is a human nearby. On top of that, a highly skilled, human that the orcs wants to kill. Perhaps they are a hunter or a mercenary. I need to find them first and either warn them or help them. That way would not they be a little bit interested in me? 
Then Crow began searching the guy and said, where would they be? Please, appear before me. Then suddenly a guy appeared in the front of Crow. Crow said, at last I found him. That guy was thinking that, to think I would be attacked like this. It was my mistake. No matter how good the opportunity it was to get closer to the powerful Count Falun, I should not have accepted the invitation to the hunt right away. Perhaps this was all Llewellyn plan. If I only I awakened the Imperial Family Divine Powers I would not have gotten into this mess. I acted with too much haste because of my unstable succession rights to the throne. Then Guy said, now is this the end? Crow was very surprised by hearing that and said what? That person, I am. Pretty sure I have seen this character somewhere. Then Crow began crewing. Guy woke up and said, this. Sound then he saw that a crow was sitting on a bunch. He said that this is a corpse eating bird. It is, commonly see on battlefields or cemeteries. And the symbolism of the death. Guy said, is that bird, waiting for me to die, so that it could eat my corpse? I want to get rid of that unlucky bird immediately. But in my situation, where orcs might appear I might get caught if I make a loud noise. I need as quietly, as possible for someone to help me. Then Crow again began crewing. Guy said, damn it, that ugly bird. If, it does not shut up. Then he stood up to flew the crew away. Then Crow flew suddenly toward the orcs, that were planning to catch that guy. Guy saw the crow that was flying toward the orcs. Then orcs, listened the voice of crow and said that there might be a nearby corpse. Let's follow the crow. Then orcs, began following crow. And orcs were ultimately moving away from that guy. That said that the orcs are, going away. That crow, it was not watching my body. While on other hand orcs were following the, crow. Crow was thinking that, great those stupid monsters are following me. That person earlier, I am, certain even if I cannot remember if he is from the game or a novel. He looks very familiar. Dot. So if I find out where this place is I have to keep that person alive no matter what. I am not helping him just because he is good looking. The sole clue I have in this world is that I am helping him because I cannot just let him die in vain. Orcs began saying to each other that, how far is the crow going? Then other orc said, I do not know, let's just follow it. Crow was also thinking that, I am sure that I am already quite far. Form that person. Then orcs suddenly came in the front of cliff by following that crow. Orcs began saying, that, this is a cliff, who even chases after a crow. At this point we would not be able to find that human. Crow said, orcs are, stupid idiots. Now, should I find that person again? Then crow flew back to the, same place at which that guy was lying. Crow saw that place and said, but this trace, he is bleeding more than I thought. He is bleeding too much that there are traces of his blood left on the ground towards the way he went. I think he has to worry more about his excessive bleeding than the orcs though. I should look for herbs that can help to stop the bleeding. But I am no expert when it comes to herbs. My specialty is animals. Luckily, I can least distinguish the grasses to some extent using the instincts of a crow. Then crow looked at the herbs and said, this is edible and this is inedible grass. However will the medicine I find be helpful to a person? What should I do if it only works on animals? No way, I should. Just look for the first and think about it later. I do not have the time to worry about both this and that. I have to do something. While on the other hand the guy was sitting at the bank of the stream and there was bleeding from her chest. He was washing his wounds and saying that, luckily, there is a place nearby where I can wash my wounds. Since water can wash away the smell of my body and blood. The orcs would not be able to chase after me at least. It is defiantly a coincidence, but if that crow did not lead. The orcs to another place. I would have died while fighting with my injured body. A bird that symbolizes. The death has saved my life. How ironic. However, this luck would not work again. I need to find a way to survive by myself. Then crow arrived there at the place where that guy was standing. The crow falled up leaves from above on the head of that guy. Guy said, what, why are there leaves on my head? Wait, this, is medicine to stop a wound from bleeding? No way. Then he saw that the same crow did all this work, was sitting at the tree. Guy said, I cannot believe this. I do not think a bird could be this smart. Do not, tell me, is it someone else familiar? Or a hybrid, if not then a polymorph dragon? There are three, possibilities, but people who would favor do not have any familiar. 
Hybrids do not really like humans. So, there is s high possibility that it is a dragon, but they are not a race who help someone like this. Then, Guy tied his wound with a cloth. He was still thinking that, why is that crow helping me though? Then, crow throw some red berries toward the guy to eat. Guy said, what is this? Then he saw these were. Barriers then he said, no way, is it because it wants to eat me? Then crow began crewing, actually crow, was replying to guy, guy said, I think it can understand what I say. Then he picked up the berries and ate them and said it is sweet, to the point that I would never forget this moment in my life. Then crow while, telling his story said that, after that we started a weird cohabitation, I either found some fruit or medicinal herb I warned him about dangerous things that were nearby and this person caught fish, rabbits and the like and shared them with me, to think that I do not have to eat insects, as expected it, was a good idea to help this person, and so, we mutually supported each other and finally that guy Mia, name, Rianelli, when he first saw me he was very guarded, but now he looks at me with a soft expression, an unfamiliar feeling is felling up my heart, yes, this is like hitting the jackpot when a famous idol calls you by your name. Guy was smiling and Crow was saying that, I am really speechless, who told you to laugh like that? My heart is in danger. This is cheating. If being handsome is a sin, you would be sentenced to life in prison. Do not laugh carelessly. What is he patting me? Do not think that I will like this. It is a complete misunderstanding. Then Guy said to Crow, you like being pet, Rianelli. Up till now. Those around me were either trying to trick me or betray me but to think about there was a being that could make my heart feel at ease when we are together. It is refreshing, to the point where I want to live with this bird, and not return to the imperial palace and not think about anything. But I cannot continue to live like this, when I think of knights that gave their lives to protect me and the many citizens who will be in pain from Llewellyn tyranny. I must return to the imperial palace. But if I return to the palace like this, I might be put into this same situation again. Since Llewellyn will already have processed my death or announced that I have gone missing, Ad take my place for himself. As expected I need to be awakened to have power. The real proof that you are imperial family member. The power to shapeshift into a wolf. While on other hand Crow was saying that, now shall I go look for more medicinal herbs before night falls. Since it will be hard to find when it becomes dark. Then it saw, something shiny there in grass. Crow was thinking that, a jewel, I cannot see it properly because it is too, far. Then Crow came near to that jewel and said, oh, why is there a jewel in the middle of the forest? Well, since I cannot even eat it, let's just keep looking for medicinal herbs. Then he touched his beak to his, feet and said that is right. Then Crow began thinking about the game that he played when it was a, human. Guys that was today video if you enjoy then please like and subscribe to my channel. Take care of you goodbye.